guys. We would have had you on our first deck this morning. Well, we started at 12 31 o'clock. Uh, but it was so windy, you wouldn't have been able to hear anything, and it was irritating. So, this is the second deck on the same house. It's an 8 by 10 I did the layout on two foot centers. Marked them. Put the other side up to it. And then transferred the marks across. Now I have them both exactly the same. Then we'll put the marks to the outside. I've already cut the now the materials, this should be a two by is a one, is it one and a half. I cut three inches off for the total width to be eight foot. So I cut to 93 inches and we'll end up with an eight foot deck. So we'll cut to this being uh, framed up and then we'll go over there and fasten it to that wall, which we've already cut the trim out to do. And uh, we'll be beginning. This is what we got done. If you notice, there's three screws per on the ends, so that it's not likely to come apart. I've not had any, but we also added some screws here for expediency. When we get over there, we can run those screws in. It'll hold it until we get the lag bolts in. So right now, James and I are going to carry it over here, and then Tim's going to put the camera down, and he's going to come over and put the screws in while we hold it. All right. Make sure I got it positioned right. <laughs> That'd be slick, special on camera. I'm gonna let go. All right. I used to do that by myself. I'd set the board where I could drag this thing over and set them on top of the boards there. Then come over here and lift it up, put a board, put a board, and then keep adjusting it like we're going to. We're gonna put a level on that, adjust those temporary supports, then we'll put the underneath. Good timing. <laughs> All right, so we're going to put eight inch lags with washers. That's really important to hold this uh, frame to the house. Um, then we're going to put supports out here at six foot with a two by ten on each side. Go ahead and put it in. This is my ballet artist slash lag. Electric impact, but back in the day, I used to set them with a hammer first and then ratchet in. Yeah, believe me, it's hard. <laughs> That's from Harbor Freight, so it ain't no big. I did used to have snap on, but Harbor Freight one works just as good. So, my Harbor Freight worker is uh, using the Harbor Freight tool. And uh, uh -huh. that house will not. <laughs> all the time it's never because of that not one time so I really want to lift the wood up well we'll catch you guys done is measure out six foot from the 
wall out, made a mark, put the 4 by 4 on that side of it, put blocks underneath, leveled, then put three screws to hold them, and then we're going to put two by 10s on either side of that uh, to the 4 by 4s which will carry the weight also. Then we're going to toenail in both directions on air, on both of those 2 by si t uh, 6s underneath. So it's a 10 foot 2 by 6 and then another 10 foot 2 by 6 carrying the weight. Uh, so it's less than, it's like uh, eight, you know, uh, 1 foot 6, 18 inches to the outside. So it'll more than carry any kind of weight you want to put on it. Uh, and that allows you to have any kind of skirting out here. The steps are going to be right here. They're going to be four foot wide. Uh, what we've done right here, since I know I'm going to have 31 inches from here to here, I just cut it uh, 36 and a half. That allows me to get flush with the bottom and I'm, I'm at the right height. And I did that on all four corners. We've got three screws on each side and uh, or we'll have and that will then we'll put some wood on the sides here to support any cuts on the sides and that way it'll be solid even where it's cut and we'll come back to that maybe tomorrow but we'll come back to that